It's my second attempt, first attempt I realised I was filming my foot. Um, it's now the 17th of September uh, 2020 and I had my th three monthly injection two days ago and a bit more about that in a minute. So where are we? Lockdown's ended. Um, teachers and students have gone back to school in university, getting colds, can't get tested. Um, who knew that was going to happen? Uh, some people going back to work, some people not going back to work. Uh, the city of London where I do my guiding, there's hardly anyone there. I went past uh, Alton um, train station the other week. It's normally packed, you can't get a space. About six or eight cars, that was it, nothing. People just aren't, aren't doing it. <clears throat> so how have I been? Well, I've been out and about. I've got a Turkish haircut. Been to Waitrose with a mask. Been to in and out a few shops um, out of necessity, although I was still getting home deliveries. Uh, but doesn't it feel good to be out and about again, to feel a bit normal? I know we were all wearing masks and things, and um, no one's going to the cinema. Becky went with her grandchildren. She was the only one in there. Only one in cinema, in all the shop. Uh, so there's a lot of, <clears throat> lot of people still playing self, sa safe and not going anywhere. So how do I feel? Well, I'm not in any pain yet. It's funny how things stick in your mind, isn't it? And um, the fact that when I was at the hospital last time, I think I said, the doctor said, well, when the pain gets too much, and I thought, I haven't got any pain. Yes, but yes, but when it gets too much, no, 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 no. I haven't got any pain. Just leave it like that. I'm all right. Yes, but when it gets too, no. When it gets too much, we can deal with it. I haven't got any pain and I still haven't, so that's all right. Um, but the effects of the injection make me feel a bit woozy. But I did have a bit of excitement just recently. <coughs> I may have mentioned in the previous ones that back in February I was, had atrial fibrillation and I was rushed into Basingstoke Hospital with all the blue lights flashing and things. Um, and uh, I had to have my heart restarted, like in the movies. Well, I was waiting for an echocardiogram. Uh, and it came up in June. I couldn't go back to Basingstoke in June, obviously. Couldn't travel. So I cancelled that and I tried to arrange it up here in Basingstoke. Da, da, da. Didn't happen. Spoke to the doctor, didn't happen. Spoke to a doctor recently, and they said, Well, actually, it's been six months, why don't you just come in for a checkup? So I went in for a checkup um, and uh, did an ECG. Mm, that was all right. I mean, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? All right. No, no, no that's okay. Well, okay, it doesn't, it's not good. Well, no, that's right. Let's just take your pulse. Took my pulse. It's always been this low. And I said, Well, it's, it's generally been quite low. Are you a super fit athlete? And I said, well, I, would, I have been in the past. I've done 29 marathons and 65 half marathons and 10 Ks and things. The last one being three years ago. And uh, she said, well, um, well, you're not 25 anymore. I agree with her there. Um, it's, it is a bit too low. And I said, okay, right. Um, she said, well, can you, can you take your own pulse? And I said, well, I felt like making a joke. You know, if I did that, I wouldn't have it on. But anyway, she showed me how to do it. <coughs> Got back home, found there was a missed call from an unknown source. And then it rang again, and it was a doctor saying, she's spoken to her colleagues in Ipswich Hospital. They've got, actually got space there now, which they had. And uh, I, I can go in now. So, okay, so I went in, expecting to go in as an outpatient, have my scan, but like all things, you go in, nothing happens. You sit in the, the assessment unit, nothing happens. And the doctor wanders up, talks to you a bit, what's the problem, you go through it all again, and then nothing happens. And then it starts to get dark, um, and you're taken to another ward, the 
not so urgent assessment ward. Nothing happens there on the Friday. And on the Friday night, they said, well, we'll take you to the cardio ward. Okay. Um, and I said, well, I thought I was going to have a, an echocardiogram. And they said, well, yes, um, but it could be tomorrow, although it's not likely, or on Monday. Okay, so what if I go home now and come back Monday? And they said, no, if you do that, you'll be an outpatient and you'll have to wait six months. Okay, I'll stay in. It wasn't bad, food was quite good. I had things like mince pie, uh, mince, mince pie, but mince as you used to get when you were young, when you were 11 or 12, when your mother used to make these little pies of pastry. Great, cottage pie, chocolate steamed pudding and custard all the things you don't get at home. So I was quite happy to stay in over the weekend, although with all the moans and groans, the beds around me, you don't get any sleep really. So I started to watch Battlestar Galactica on my iPhone, which is not, not best. Anyway, um, didn't happen Saturday. Sunday, I was just about to <coughs> tuck into my cottage pie. I was watching the trolley go up and down, come to me, right, cause it's taken a while, just about to tuck in, and, and this chap in blue turned up. Mr. Bowles! Yes? Yes? Right, I've been looking for you. Okay, right, pull the green, the blue screen round. Um, and he said, right, you need a pacemaker. I said, um, all my thoughts are on my cottage pie, and I, I uh, uh, sorry. And he said, you you need a pacemaker. I said, why? He said, I was told a while ago that I'm too young for one. <clears throat> Which I was, I was given the option of going up to Norwich and having my nerves fused to stop atrial fibrillar and a few other things. And he said, well, your heart rate went down to 39 last night. Uh, too low, even for a super fit athlete. And he said, oh, are you a super fit athlete? And I said, well, um, I have been in the past, but I'm not now. And he said, okay, well, um, your dizziness and fainting fits things are due to your low heart rate and you need a, a um, <clears throat> pacemaker. And he said, I could do it now. I was, I was looking at a cottage pie and I thought, I want, I want my cottage pie. Uh, and he said, and I said, well, um, well, I need time to think about it. And he said, well, okay, have you thought about it? And I well, I, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'll think about it today. I'll think about it, and he said, well, let me know before the, before the evening. So this was about five o'clock, and um, so I had a couple of hours to think about it. So I rang my wife, spoke to her, and she said, well, if you've got to have it, you've got to have it. And I said, yeah, I know. If he said, just do it, you know, get on and do it. So I told the nurse, and, she, and um, then about half an hour later, she said, oh, he just rang up to make sure that you're going to have it Tuesday because he can fit you in. So I said, okay. That's all right, so <clears throat> trepidation. Um, <clears throat> uh, Monday came, and then Randy came with the echocardiogram, which I thought they weren't gonna do, but they did that, and off again. And then on Tuesday, um, I wasn't able, not allowed to we wheeled in for a pacemaker, and that was a very surreal experience, because it's done under local anaesthetic. So you get this blue sheet that you put over you, make sure nobody's coming, with a square cut out that they tape and then they, you know, all the other things, like do the operation. You may well have had something like that. Um, and he said, what music would you like? And I said, well, actually, it's more, what music would you like? Because you're doing the operation. I want you nice and relaxed and happy doing it. So he said, okay. So I listened to Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild and Led Zeppelin whole lot of love and this and of course you had a local anesthetic but you still feel a cut going in and when he was ramming it in it was oh, there's, there's stepping wolf born to be wild and then whole lot of love so it wasn't something it was something i will remember anyway so I had my pacemaker no i won't show you the scar um that's all done. Uh, I don't like it really at the moment. I suppose I'm getting used to it. It's somebody else in control of my heart. But anyway, the good news is he fitted it with an extra long life battery, which means it's bigger, 
and that's bad news because it bulges out more for 13 years. It, and then, then we'll do another one. I thought, well, I like your optimism. So I go with the optimism. And I said, if I, I didn't say anything actually. I just thought to myself, I'm not going to see this come out. But who knows? If people keep saying, who knows? But if I do, that'd be good. So I've gone on for a while now, actually, I think. And um, so all's good. And if you stayed with me this far, well done. Um, and uh, the next one is October, November, is December, just before Christmas. And we will know by then whether we're going to have a Christmas or not, or whether we're going to see people or not. So bye for now.